Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today in the jar we have got quotes by Marcus Aurelius and what I thought we could do is we would draw these first. How about that? Why don't we start with the quotes rather than see how the quotes match the cards. Let's see how the cards match the quotes. We'll do it a different way today. So feel free to choose from between group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group one. If you chose group number one you are in the right place. Now before we draw these we are actually going to take some quotes from the jar. We're going to take some Marcus Aurelius quotes. We're starting with the quotes. This is so radical. I have not done this before but I wanted to do something new and different and we'll take, well let's take two and then we'll take three. I will take three for each group but I can randomly draw another one at the end. How about that? So let's start with a quote. This is incredible. Okay. Natural ability without education has more often raised a man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. Oh, how amazing. This is amazing. I'm working with one of you actually about this question of further study and I wrote these on the weekend. I totally forgot what's in here. That's great. Yeah, I think, that, you know, this is definitely one of the reasons why we use personal development tools and things like astrology and things like Maya Briggs and you know this guy Ray Dalio has a great tool as well on how to find out what your natural strengths are and that's why I love all of this stuff. Let's take a look at the next one. This is a really interesting start. Okay here we have aha do every act of your life as if it were your last. Yeah, definitely. This is great. This is all about building excellence, putting excellence into what it is that you do, whatever that may be. It doesn't matter because all work is important work. All right, so we have these quotes here. Now I think what we'll do is we'll draw some oracle cards. You can see that I am just coming up with this on the fly. <laughs> I have been so busy. My goodness, this week has just been, today especially, I've got Rahu Ketu Axis video to launch and the March Outlook. Super, super busy. Okay, so we're going to draw our Oracle cards first and then we're going to take some from the tarot deck as well. So let's see what comes. I also have a new oracle deck. This is the Doreen Virtue healing, uh, healing oracle deck, something like that. I remember this was the deck where the very first tarot card that was ever drawn for me was drawn from this deck, actually, on Bondi Beach of all places, <laughs> on one of my trips back home. All right, we're taking that one. And should we draw tarot as well? Why, why don't we do that? Why don't we draw them all and then see what comes? So we know that we're working with this concept of, well, what are your gifts? What are your gifts, your strengths, your talents? This is something that I love to look into through Vedic Astrology because that is the ultimate tool for working out what our strengths and gifts are, I believe. But things like Maya Briggs are also very good. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Fruition, wonderful. Harvest moon, it's a full moon there. And look at all this abundance. Look at the harvest, look at what all that hard work has produced this incredibly lavish spread. How amazing. Interestingly, she's wearing a mask as well. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Sudden wealth. 
All right, this is wonderful, my goodness. We're getting some massive green lights here. And these are connected in with your natural gifts and abilities. Okay, so this is, this is your essence, who you are. If you bring that to the fore in every act that you do, you are sure to, to be massively rewarded. That's right here. Meditation. Okay, interesting. Let's take a look at the tarot and see what's come through here. Three of Wands. So this is a time of strategizing, I think. Let's keep going with the tarot and see what we've got. The Emperor. Yeah, this is very interesting. Okay. Seven of Cups. This is very, very interesting. I think I want one more, you know. But what I'm seeing so far, before I draw one, is that I think you're in a place of, well, I am getting the phrase surveying your kingdom, surveying what you have, okay, and being grateful for what you have. There is a lot of abundance around you. But you are in a place where you are strategizing, you are working out next moves kind of thing. And you have so many options in front of you. And this card can actually be quite overwhelming. When you have the Seven of Cups, which one do you choose? You know, and yes, you've got these seven physical cups, but then you've got these potentials and you don't quite know which one is going to bear the most fruit you don't quite know sometimes what's in these cups they are illusions actually and yes you might pick you know this wonderful cup here with the green leaf but then when you start doing it you discover through the doing ah this is not quite the thing because perhaps the thing that drew you to the cup was an illusion so this is a tricky business here with the Seven of Cups, and this is why your next move in life is going to require careful thought, okay? You're going to have to plan and think carefully, and it would be advised to take time to really think about this next move that you want to do, and to be very strategic, and, and to think about, yes, the end goal of where you want to be, so we've got here clearly that you you want to be this emperor i do see this as kind of your end result you want to be at that place where you're the emperor you're at the top you're being very constructive you're constructively you know giving your natural gifts and talents and abilities to the world you're being really productive so you definitely want that but it does feel like there are lots of possibilities, there are lots of ways of getting there, and you're at a point of possibly reassessment. You know, it's really interesting. If we were to get the Seven of Pentacles, that would be pretty amazing right now. But let's see. <laughs> I don't wanna, well, let's, let's see what comes. I, I want one more card and I want one more quote, okay. Right, the Knight of Wands, there's energy here. There's energy for you to go after what it is that you want. You know, you're kind of, and it feels like you're at the place where you're just about getting ready to take off in a particular direction. It's just about working out what that direction is it feels like this is going to be the next move where you're you're really you're lighting the match on something you're good to go you're flying you're flying in that direction but you're at a place right now where you are deciding you're still working out okay which direction here am i going here or am i here 
it's this it's that it's that thing and it would benefit you to withdraw withdraw from the outside world a bit and and go within go within so that's, that's always a very abstract phrase how do you do that well you can meditate but really when you're meditating what you're doing is you're kind of disconnecting from the outside world you're disconnecting from the need for feedback from the outside world the outside world might be telling you hey you're really good at this but is that really the thing that's going to bring you the abundance and the happiness that's the thing that you'll have to you'll have to have a strong knowing about that ideally and and you yourself will do that by disconnecting from the outside world i think that's the best way i can phrase it disconnect from the outside world really try and hear that inner voice of yours what do you love doing what lights you up what makes you happy what would you do even if you weren't being paid and sometimes people say if you're and i've done, i've said this one on the channel before if you're coaches always do this thing oh if if you are a millionaire and you could do anything what would you do but i actually think the question to ask and i've said this on the pick of cards before the question to ask is actually not if you were a millionaire what would you do but what if you had just enough what if all your basic needs needs were met what would you do now because you see if you're a millionaire you're in fantasy land and when you're in fantasy land well then you know some of the things you might want to do might be different but in your everyday life right now what would you do you know um let's say all your basic needs are met you you can eat you have a place to live everything's fine and now you have to tap some inner gift and be giving that to the world now today tomorrow the next day next week next month so what are you doing right now that's if you can approach it from that point of view that would be a good thing to do as well and that's the thing of meditation of three of wands strategizing uh taking some time out to see what it is that you would love to do let's take a look at the last quote and see what comes <coughs> it says here how much time he saves who does not look to see what his neighbor says or does or thinks Yes, absolutely. This is this. Withdraw. Withdraw from any feedback from the outside world or looking at what other people are up to or getting ideas from the outside. Really disconnect from the outside world and get in touch with yourself. What is it that you have incarnated to do and that's not easy to know we can't know that in a day or you know it's it cuz a career a life the thing this emperor thing here i mean look at that he's probably done every job under the sun you know to rise to the top and get to the place where he is this is not an overnight thing So and it does what it does take is yeah doing every act of your life as if it were your last cherishing the step that you're on cherishing the now that okay well I'm in this exact situation now I'm going to do whatever's in my immediate now to the best of my ability and as you keep doing that as you keep cherishing the step you're on now the next step will will open up you'll see you'll be shown it will be shown to you you will get there but you get to this place he got here by this by doing every single act of his life as if it was his last by aiming for excellence in every single thing that he does you know whether it is even the mundane things you know and it is that whole 
you know, clean your room. Like you start by cleaning your room or you start by organizing your cupboards or, you know, uh, it, it is all that stuff as well. As mundane and boring as that sounds, you know, that's important. That is really important. So group number one, I am loving the time that you have in front of you immediately right now. It looks like you have some time to strategize. It looks like you are definitely going to tap your abundance, the abundance that you seek. It is yours. It is there. You know, it wants to be with you too. <laughs> but like in order to get there, um, you're going to need a bit of time out, a bit of strategizing, a bit of thinking, a bit of assessing. And it's that working out, okay, what's the direction? So that then when you're ready to fly, you know which direction direction you're going in. I'm wishing you well group one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'm behind on comments. I'm behind on everything at the moment but I will get round to everything. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place and before we draw from our tarot deck we're going to take some Marcus Aurelius quotes first. I thought we would shake it up and do something different. So let's take a couple of these and then we're going to get our oracle cards and we can do it all upside down today. But I will draw one of these at the end. So everyone's going to get three. Okay. Oh, I love this. Yes. Begin. To begin is half the work. Let half still remain. Again, begin this and thou wilt have finished. Yes, that's so true. And I am doing this more and more. There are so many things that I have to begin, that I have to do. It was funny. I was on a Zoom call with one of my friends and I was showing her how in one of my astrology books for months I had this to-do task that was just to put little tags just to hand write little tags okay this is this nakshatra that nakshatra and just like just to make it easy for me to quickly access the relevant content and i told her it took me months to do that one tiny task isn't that insane <laughs> but it's true <laughs> yeah we just got to begin it's just it's hard when there's so many things to do i know i know how difficult all this is all right let's take a look how much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? Wow, okay. So we've got some anger here. That's fine. Well, let's dig around. Let's see what the cards reveal. And this might make more sense after we have some cards come through. Let's see. Let's take a journey. Let's see what's, what's happening here. Now, I think I'm going to draw one of these first. But yeah, definitely, I think there is some stuff around your work. There is, it feels like there's something that you need to get going on. And I think I quoted this in the Rahu Ketu Axis video. I said something about well begun is half done. Something like that. I like that quote as well. Beginning is always hard. I've got so many things on hold too. But yeah, I mean, stuff's happening. And sometimes another thing I find is that sometimes it is good to have a few projects going at the same time. Because sometimes if you have too little work, it's hard to get going. And then sometimes if you have too much, then you burn out. So it is about finding the right amount of work. And sometimes you have to increase your workload. Isn't that interesting? We have to have a few projects going at the same time and then you will find yourself more productive. They say if you want to get something done, give it to a busy person. I totally understand that because like the machine is going and you spit something into a machine that's going, it gets spat out a lot faster. All right, so let's take a look. And that's all the Mars and Saturn type thing, you know, that structure and performance. So you want to get all those energies just right. Okay, let's take three of these. See if we can find out what's going on with the anger too. Which, by the way, you know, we're going to have some strong Mars energy coming up. And 
and that is is yeah it's going to be quite a natural i mean it is a natural energy you know we all have it okay oh discernment okay interestingly her head her mind her eyes is uh her vision is clouded isn't it she's in a bit of a fog here okay and this is quite a bit of a fireball this i'm kind of seeing this i mean this is sort of the heart but this is also sort of the third chakra as well so we've, we've got a story forming already here message okay it's definitely something with communication here oh wow romance how nice okay the plot thickens i think yes we we can already start seeing and saying a few things this this uh this anger could definitely be to do with something in your love life let's keep going we do have more cards on the table oh okay this one doesn't want to be seen i've had that happen before the four of pentacles right someone's holding on and it was hard to flip this one over. Maybe someone doesn't want to be seen. There's a little bit of that energy as well. It could be a male who doesn't want to be seen. Okay, now this is, now I have to get this right. This looks to me to be the page of wands, but I'm just going to double check that in a moment by checking the other cards, because I want to make sure that that symbol, that's not a knight, that's a page, but I'll double check it in a moment. And the 10 of wands. All right, okay, so I'm just gonna get this deck and double check who is a page. Yep, it's a page, because we've got that symbol representing the knight there. So we've got a page of wands here okay let's take a look at these cards and see what is going on i do think this is to do with love life and and i kind of want to see this more as being to do with you as opposed to let's 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 work with you as opposed to the other person because it's pretty easy to look out into the outside world and to say, well, you know, this person is being difficult, this person is holding on to something unnecessarily or unfairly, or, you know, they could be in some kind of un in injustice. I'm going to take another tarot card and I'm going to see if we can get a little bit more information here. Okay, we've got the chariot. Movement. This is very interesting. And one more from here. Ah. Perfect. This is absolutely ideal. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Absolutely, work with you, okay? You might be very justifiably angry at a lover or at a partner or at someone close to you in your life. You might be wanting them to talk to you or to send you a message or, and, and you might think, well, they should apologize or they should say something or they should come to me and correct this or you know they should do something you might be in that kind of thing at the moment and what I'm going to say is let go of that let go of wanting that and this page of wands he belongs here well I can see what's happening here now and apologies about the gaps I'll probably edit those out there are a couple of I needed a couple of thinking gaps in this one today um basically I can see what's happening here. Yeah, and, and the truth is in this statement. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. That belongs here with these two. And I think once you recognize that, 
you know, you will find your inner fire again, your happiness. Again, look at this character here. He's really happy. He's excited. He's excited about life and about, you know, the adventure of life, about what he is here to give and to contribute to the world. He's happy. He's excited. And there's youth. This is a young, this is a page. This is a young man here, a young boy. This is lovely energy, these two cards here. And, you know, there's always romance in life. You don't need another person to be behaving in some sort of particular way. There's romance everywhere. There's, you know, romance and beauty in two people just having a lovely time together, whoever they are. Like, there's romances everywhere, basically. But here, I feel like there's some kind of situation that has been causing you a bit of grief, that has been difficult, and it's like it's a burden, it's heavy, you know, and I think you might be, someone in this situation is holding on to something, there's some sense of injustice, perhaps you're wanting to speak to this person but you can't, or you want them to apologize to you or to say something to you or something like that. But what I would say is that this situation is burdensome, is very burdensome. This is the Ten of Wands and this is a heavy burden. And this is hard work and this is not fun. <laughs> this, is, this is a difficult card sometimes. And the energy of this is, is heavy, it's difficult. When you let this go, then life will flow better again. Life will move better again. You'll have movement again. There's a stuckness in this situation. So I am seeing this as a situation of romance for sure. Something to do with love life. But equally, having said that, when it comes to your work, there is something, I think this is a work message. And I think in this message, there's something to do with your work that you could benefit with is like beginning starting something let's draw one card for your work situation because I think we understand what's happening here with the love life I think we can see that oh, we've got some birds crowing some crows I think Are those crows they sound like crows um, I think we've got a handle on that. Let's see if there's anything to do with the work, creativity, art, is what, what's going on there. Oh, nice. The Six of Cups. How beautiful. That's great. So this work of yours, let's just have a look here. Oh, okay, I think we have the lovers here. They are the lovers, aren't they? Number six, they are indeed. Wow. Amazing. But again, we've got a very loving energy there. This, I, I think there's something, I think a way to ease the pressure of this love life situation is actually just going to be to, to get started on some creative project. You've got really nice energy here when it comes to your work. You even had the lovers here as well. So there's some beautiful loving energy that wants to come through you in the form of creativity, in the form of your work. And what I would say is spend some time starting, starting that thing. There must be some things on your to-do list or your, you know, uh, your creativity list. There must be things that you are yet to begin. Put some energy there. Get that going. And I think you'll start to see this energy resolve. Because sometimes with love life as well, like um, this often happens. I had, I had this happen with a friend of mine. She was waiting for a text from someone. We did this in real time. We went on a day trip to, gosh, where did we go? Something like wine country down south here in Australia. It was a day trip. It was amazing. Anyway, she kept talking about this guy that she liked. And I said to her, well... You know, just just let it go. 
just totally uh, somehow I, I, I anyway I helped her to let let something go completely and as soon as she did that her phone buzzed and she got a message from him and it, I've seen this happen so many times when you just completely let go then you know things resolve or people come back or whatever and then if they don't well discernment okay then then that, that wasn't the right thing and it, it will the, the whole experience will enhance your discernment you become more discerning you become sharper you become more you a big part of this reading is asking you to yeah definitely to express your creativity to express yourself to be more you the more you you are you'll repel the wrong ones and, and draw in the right ones too you know so group number two there is a lot going on here for you i can see that there's a lot of you know different energies but there's some really really nice energy here especially in regards to your work and your creativity in the world so there is a bit of a message to get on with it and to be creative and to enjoy that to have fun with that and you'll start to see movement and things going in, in a lot nicer direction all right well thank you so much for tuning in if you have any comments of any kind please um, leave them in the comments below i love to hear from you and how you get on with these i am behind on the comments so hoping to get on to that tomorrow but thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three then you are in the right place now before we draw our cards we're doing something different completely upside down today it's radical it's new we're drawing the quotes first so let's see it's been interesting I must say I think I do I prefer drawing them last hmm, I don't know let's see I, it's good it's good we'll, we'll see what happens if I if I end up doing this one again but I have enjoyed it so far oh the best revenge they're all Marcus Aurelius by the way the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury yes i love that that's very good so true absolutely succeed you know succeed be happy be be joyous be stylish be different <laughs> be not like them who who did the bad thing i'm going to start with two and then i'm going to draw some cards here is the rule to remember in the future when anything tempts you to be bitter not this is a misfortune but to bear this worthily is good fortune marcus aurelius yes i love this quote i think this is fantastic these match as well this is really good so i'm glad we drew these together oh that's a great start well we've got a great story here already yeah i like this because there's there's style in this there's you know there's even some kind of leo sort of energy it's like you want to bring me down well you know and, I, and, and it's like it's that whole thing of well, i'm gonna make something of this i might even be creative with this you know i might even and that's what all these singer songwriters do you know and if they have a breakup or something well that person ends up in their song you know <laughs> and like and um i'm pretty sure is that what taylor swift used to do she used to like she'd have a breakup then she'd create some incredible album and make lots of money from it <laughs> i don't know if that's a good thing actually <laughs> but, the, but the idea is that like that yeah don't don't do revenge and um instead of being down in the dumps you know transform it transmute it and come out on top you know and make something of it it's that kind of energy yeah it's interesting interesting food for thought right i'm pretty sure adele she would also write about her uh yeah i think if things didn't go right in the love life she'll make a song out of it and she'll make something out of it i mean it's certainly one way of going about you know things going wrong it's, it's a kind of leo way <laughs> all right let's interesting how i'm thinking about leo all of a sudden 
but yeah, that is a, that is a Leo kind of a thing to do. Okay, let's draw some tarot and see what comes through these cards. I hope you're having a good week, by the way, wherever you are. Oh, we'll take all three. There we go. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Attraction. Aha. Do you know, whenever this card comes up, I do, it, it does, yes, it, 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 as I said, the Leo energy is here. There's some romance, maybe, love life thing going on. Interesting. We've just had a bit of that energy in group two. Thoughts. Aha. There's some art happening here. Look at that. That's amazing. This is great. Yep. He's, he's thinking, okay, I don't know. Did he break up with her? Is he making art out of her now? I don't know. All right, what have we got in here? Oh, power. Yep, we've got Leo energy here again. Okay. Yeah, because Leo is a very, there's, a, there's kind of fire, but there's also some, is that air? Is she like, I don't know. It's like she's blowing something. It's like some kind of magic dust or something. It's the angel wings. It's, the, it's like something's being manifested. This is like, I think a representation of the other side. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Lovely. Anytime I see Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, these kind of energies, this is like, this is a classic solitary enjoyment of wealth card. So you enjoying yourself on your own, not needing anyone else. Four of Swords. Yep. This is some time out. You need some rest. Yeah, I think you, there has been something going on here. Oh, wow, the Emperor. Gosh, we've had the Emperor today. All right, well, I do see that this can be a, a, a breakup situation or a situation where something's not quite going right in the love life. That, that is a possibility here. It could, it could also be something to do with someone in your world. Could be a family member. But you see, with, with all that Leo energy that I was feeling, this is asking you to be creative, to transmute, to transform what's been going on. Let's take another card. I do want to get a bit more information. We've still got one quote left. All right, this one really wants to be here. So we'll take it. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, good. We like that. <laughs> wow, yeah, Six of Swords. Okay. I mean, this is, you guys have been going through something here. Uh, yeah, it's something you got to leave behind. And so I, I understand sometimes it's not easy to make art out of something that's gone wrong. But as you mm, rest and heal and let this whole situation go, you, you will start to heal. And look, this is lovely actually, because you'll start to leave behind whatever this is. And, and this is, I don't know, I think you've been going through something really difficult and painful. And you will, it's, it's a progression. You will start to, if, if you truly rest, if you truly allow yourself to rest, be alone, don't be interacting with the world. Meditation, very important that you disconnect from the world and that you don't need feedback from the outside world, that you're just happy to be on your own. You're happy to let go. You're happy to, because this six of swords card is all about letting go. Four of swords is all about rest. You really do need some time out and you need to 
let the situation go you need to move this is all about you know she's sailing into calmer waters she's definitely sailing into calmer waters and there's often with this card in the way it's depicted there's like there's something about baggage being left behind so you are going to sail out of this situation whatever this situation is you're sailing out of this situation leaving the troubled waters of this situation and you're moving to a place look at this this is beautiful you're moving to a place where you are going to become empowered you're going to become very strong you're also going to become financially strong and independent okay and you're going to you know continue creating the life of your dreams you know, every day we're alive hopefully we're doing some tiny action to create the life of our dreams and and that's you know something that's been coming across through these Marcus Aurelius quotes he says you know do every single act as if it was your last or build excellence into every single act and it's it's that it's like every single day if you put a little tiny bit of effort to creating the life of your dreams you will surely move there and become the emperor of your own life you are becoming powerful which is why you're being tested okay the reason that you're being tested and you're going through some of these situations right now and it is hard make no mistake it's, it's difficult this is this is hard but this is all to make you powerful this is all to make you rise up to get up again what do they say fall down seven get up eight like you know eight that's a strong number yeah you just, you just keep getting up you know you keep getting up and and you don't need to keep fighting this person or whatever this is the best revenge is to be totally unlike them you know and to to be the high quality person that you are and, and that you know how to be you're just going to be that you know and, and you're going to leave them to be who they are it's like well you're welcome you're a free person you can keep being the way you are it's fine you know um, and it, it's almost like you almost kind of this is going to sound terrible but I'm going to say it it's almost like you want them to to just keep being who they are so that then you can evolve and meet new people and be over here doing something very different it's, it's almost like it serves you if they stay the way they are especially if you are in a situation where you want to progress or move on or you know move away uh, from the situation from the people from from whatever this is and it's not like you're condemning them or no you're leaving them to be free they're welcome to heal and grow they're welcome to improve they're welcome to change you know that, that they can do that by that time though you are probably creating your good life and succeeding and doing well and that's the main thing you're, you're on that path and you're you've manifested this it's just about the physical body now catching up you know, and every single day just keep making little incremental steps towards creating that life of your dreams you're doing it you're on your way you're literally on your way six of swords you're moving you're sailing into the calmer waters you're doing it and yeah and why not why not turn some of this into art when you are successful and here and in that position yeah you can you can turn it into a story you can turn it into a song you can turn it into you know whatever you like and you can be gallant and generous and kind and you know even in your storytelling or whatever it is you can be all the great qualities you know you can be, and you can be all the great qualities now you know that's the main thing you don't have to wait you can be all the wonderful qualities that you aspire to be and want to be be that now let's have a look at the last quote the only wealth which you will keep forever is the wealth you have given away wow yeah i love that that's great and that's this you know when when you're powerful and th th that's all of this that's all of these three actually but like when when you are this 
powerful and abundant person. Like, you can give love freely and you can, you know, and I think I said this, in, was it in the last pick a card last week? It was some time ago, I don't remember, but I said this thing about you can secretly love this person too. Like, when you move away <coughs> into this situation where you are empowered and successful and doing great, you, you can silently, quietly be throwing some love to this person who is uh, causing you, you know, the need to, yeah, you need to have this time out, you need to sail on. I get it. I really totally understand. The only wealth which you will keep forever is the wealth you have given away. And I'm reading wealth to be love here. I'm reading wealth to be good, beautiful, abundant energy, which you have and you are. You're moving to a really good place, group number three, energetically. A really strong place. This, this could also be somebody at work. This could be there's somebody, there's someone in your world who is who's yeah, who's, who's being difficult, who is uh, it's not great. And look at that, yeah, to bear this misfortune worthily is good fortune and we've got this wealth here we've got the wealth on the table isn't that amazing and the power you know that's you this is you you are this stylish person you know you're stylish you're there's so much I'm getting real leo vibes here it's just amazing because there's something stylish about you there's something you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stoop to that level or you know i'm gonna and it's that thing of um and this is the, one of the ways I, I like to live is that, you know, all the angels are watching me. You know, my dad's on the other side. He's watching me. Like, oh, everyone's like on that other side. They all know everything, right? So, you know, and that's another slight Leo kind of thing. It's like, you know, you're performing brilliantly and beautifully and being stylish and a good person and all that great stuff. Who cares if they don't see it or don't understand it or... They, they don't, they won't, they may never leave that, it's fine. All your angels are proud of you, all the, you know, the beings on the other side, they're really impressed, they see, and yeah, that's, that's just good, you know. Um, yeah. Group three, I think you are doing amazing with this situation and there's so much confirmation of that here and there's so much confirmation and yeah I'm kind of getting a sense as well your angels are cheering you on oh it's about to the camera's gone red so I'm gonna have to wrap up guys but thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for tuning in sorry it just got cut and yeah let me know how you get on in comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time